Well, today marks the start of the Salvation Army Angel Tree, and there are more than 5,000 reasons for you to get involved. Major Sarah Nelson, Area Commander with the Salvation Army, is with us with the story. Hello. Yeah, hello, good morning. Great to see you yeah, again. Thank you. So it, time has come. It has. We've been preparing for this day for months, and it's finally here. Today and we kick off. 5,447 angels, yes. mostly children this year? Mostly children, and then a few groups of underserved senior citizens we take care of as well. Yeah, and some corporations have stepped up too. I know yes. Griffin, our company, is not only one of the media sponsors, but we already have our angel tree angels Wonderful. picked up, and I've already gone shopping for Kimberly is seven years old. I hope she's not watching. We don't want to give all this away. But talk about a little bit about the history of this. This has really been something the Salvation Army has been front and center for a long time. Yeah, well, I'm happy to say Angel Tree is celebrating its 43rd birthday. Uh, it came to be in 1979 in Lynchburg, Virginia, and there was a couple of local Salvation Army leaders that partnered with a mall on an idea to serve some kids in their community and involved a Christmas tree and the angel came as a result of finding a box of greeting cards in a storage closet that had angels drawn on the cover. They cut out those angels, wrote the wishes of the kids on the back of them, hung those on the tree and voila, you have the first angel tree. And here we are 40 some years yeah. later and we're still going strong. Pandemic kind of put a little bit of a, a damper on our spirits, but yeah. online was a great success and you guys yeah. have kind of uh, ramped that up now. Yeah, that's been a, a wonderful um, addition to our angel tree program. Parents, guardians can now go online to register for, for angel tree. And that was a, a big help in the pandemic and we've continued it because we really think that it's it's been a very effective approach to registering for the program. Woodland Hills Mall is the location for most of the angels. They have that beautiful tree there, center court, so you can go and pick an angel. For us, I want to just show you a little bit. My angel was very simple. She just wanted Barbie stuff. That's probably the reason I chose Kimberly because she said Barbie house, Barbie accessories. Um, I always get a coat for my child. I usually get a shoes, shoes, but they didn't list the shoe size, so I didn't want to, but I, they always get a book. Um, so there are just some things, this has become a tradition where it used to be I would take my kids when they were little, well now they're you know, adults, so we want to keep it the tradition continuing. Sure. Um, how do you guys go about finding your angels to make sure uh -huh. that there is really that need? Yeah, well once a, a, an individual parent, guardian goes online, um, in addition to just capturing some personal information, the wishes for their children, they also have to upload birth certificates, proofs of income, um, documentation that would prove where they live, that they are a resident of the area they're applying for. And then we have a team of volunteers who come in for about four weeks that vet every single application. Mm -hmm. They look at all of the information, make sure all the pieces are there. And once they are, uh, that child becomes approved to be on our angel tree. Those angels now, boys, girls, young, old, mm -hmm. all listed there. And uh, we want to make sure that you get out and get your items picked up yes. because you have to get them back way before Christmas. Right, because we do need time to make sure they're packaged and designated for the appropriate child. So um, they can adopt through December 9th, but they're also actually due back December 9th. So give yourself a little bit of time. But yeah, they're due back December 9th, but today's the day to get started. And uh, we're gonna have, I know, just like every year, we're gonna have amazing results. It's gonna be so fun. And I look forward to, you know, I, that, I think that's the hard part of celebrating is I always wanna see my angel get the stuff yeah but you know I just yeah. have to believe by faith that it's going out there and it's blessing those families yeah and I wish I could give everyone the viewpoint of my front row seat yeah. on the day we Good. do distribution Good. It's, it's a beautiful thing yeah I love it well we are uh, thrilled to be media sponsor again we're Thank so happy you. that Griffin I can't remember how many we've adopted maybe 50 angels or something like that but I think I'll be the first to turn all my goodies all in. right all I'm right feeling pretty <laughs> proud so uh, we'll put all the information that you need on our website at newson 6com Calm, though. Circle December 9th, though. Make sure that you get your items back. Um, I know that Mattress Firm, that's really close to my house, and mm -hmm. they've always been gracious to pick up, but any of those locations, the yep. mall as well. The mall or our offices at 924 South Hudson. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Major, it's great to see you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I get to be the first <laughs> here on November. All right, 919 is our time. A space startup is on a mission to catch a rocket launcher when they'll be making the next attempt to catch one in midair with a helicopter. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in Utica Square. We're taking you to the first all-Christmas store in town.